Alright guys, part 2 at 9 verse 40, and pistols are actually engineered for it. I'm new to shooting this 40. It's new. Uh, I borrow pistols from friends and the crew. Obviously. Okay, you've seen the P2000 in a few different really popular vids. Um, so, let's go with 9mm. Uh, let's do three two-shot drills on the right center chest. Two-shot drills with the 9 By the third time, that's pretty easy. If I trained with that all that time, decocked, reholstered. Let's go check our hits before we do the nine. So the, actually, this is with the nine millimeter. So five, breaking the line, five out of the six. One, two, three, four, five. Again, one, two, three, four, five with the nine millimeter. Let me circle those and then go to the 40. All right, definitely getting the use of the recoil impulse. This is a subcompact. It's not a full size. Uh, let's go with the 40. Um, so that definitely, definitely opened up. A bit more, let's on the A zone, like USPSA style. Let's go take a look. So, not as good accuracy with the 40, but one, two, three are all A plus zone, I call that, on this wonderful target from Targets Online. And then one, two, three there, a little left, but so far everything has drifted left, and I actually think the rear sight might be off uh, just by a tad. And uh, I'm sure my buddy's gonna switch them out of some night sights. What night sights would you guys recommend? Excess still makes the big dot for it, or it's really weird because nothing really fits the rears, but other stuff fits the front. Uh, so you gotta get high point of impact, I don't know. You could just put a front night sight, night sight on it. What do you guys think? Um, so, Overall, everything's still covered by hand and upper thoracic A zone, so does it really make a difference? You let be the judge. Let me know in the comments down below.